Hi, I'm Corey from IEEE USA. Thanks for stopping by our SciFest All Access virtual booth. I'm going to show you how to make a simple flashlight with items you probably have already around your home. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at what you'll need to build your flashlight. A long strip of cardboard or a popsicle stick, two strips of aluminum foil, a few inches of bare solid wire. If you don't have bare solid wire, you can use a thin paper clip. A metal binder clip. A 3 volt battery, like this CR2032. A white LED. Some tape, any tape will do. And a hot glue gun with some hot glue. Please ask for adult help with this. First, we'll need to remove one of the two legs of the metal binder clip. Simply squeeze the leg close to the clip, and it should come right out. You can set this leg aside as you won't be needing it. Then we'll need to glue the binder clip about an inch and a half from one end of the piece of cardboard. Again, please ask for an adult's help with this part. You'll only want to use a small amount of glue because if you use too much, it may block the space that you need to put the wire through. So just add a little, and once it's on, you can press gently onto the cardboard, and it'll be attached. Next, grab your wire. That space that you removed the leg from is where you're going to want to put the wire. Just slide it through gently until it's about halfway on either side. Then bend it around behind the cardboard. Give it a couple of twists. And fold the wire as flat as you can down against the cardboard, like so. Next, you'll need some of your aluminum foil. You'll want to cover the wire with the foil and have it go almost all the way to the other end. You can tape it down carefully. At one end, the other end, being careful not to go all the way to the end with your tape, you'll want to leave that exposed to make a connection for your LED. And if you'd like another strip in the middle. Like so. Now we're going to flip it over and grab your other sheet of aluminum foil. Going to place it down, making sure it's long enough to be almost at the end, like the other side, but short enough that it's not touching your binder clip. Like the other side, we're going to tape it down, making sure to leave this part on the end exposed. So we tape it roughly in the middle. And we'll put this strip of tape close to the end. And next we're going to add our battery. You'll notice there are two sides, one side that has writing on it and one side that does not. The side with writing on it will usually have a plus sign, meaning this is the positive side. This is the side we want to put down. So placing it down against a part of this aluminum foil that does not have tape, we'll then hold it in place on one side with a strip of tape. We're gonna to wanna to leave most of that bare because we'll need the binder clip to touch that part to make the connection to complete our light circuit. If you've got enough spacing and an open space where that 
is able to touch when you lower the bar, then you've done it right. Now it's time to add your LED. If you look closely, the LED has one leg that's slightly longer than the other. The longer leg is our positive lead, and we'll need that to be on top where the battery is. Slide the LED over the end of your flashlight, making sure that it's touching bare aluminum foil on both sides. Once it's in place, you can tape it down and make sure to tape it tightly. Once that's taped, we're ready to give it a test. Just lower the bar on your clip down onto the battery and it should light up. There you have it, your own homemade flashlight. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your flashlight. If you want to know more about engineering and about IEEE, don't forget to go to IEEE USA. That's I-E-E-E-USA.org. Bye.